anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Chicago Bears here at Soldier Field. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. And Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game. And when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. All right, so let's head down to the field now. As it looks like kickoff is moments away. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Slips past one player and brought down after picking up 25 on that kick return. And now the rookie quarterback heads onto the field for his first series. down here Walker's gonna secure the handoff and that's a gain of maybe five here's the group that perhaps has the game's biggest assignment the offensive line Brown's lined up now as a slot receiver. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. in the slot Get ready. first and ten he's looking to the right here on this throw the defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field well they didn't that time the receiver made a nice little move gets open and a good throw by the quarterback This will be second down. Walker's taking the handoff. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Here's a look at the defense with its ball hawking secondary. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Not giving up another inch. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. Set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The throw to the left. 
with two hands. He has it. Touchdown. One thing a defense doesn't want to see, yards after the catch, yak. And that's what we saw here. The quarterback put it right on target. The receiver is running full speed, catches it, and takes it all the way for a touchdown. The Bears with an extra point try on the way. And the extra point is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. He's brought down after a gain of about 30 on that return. So the rookie quarterback, it's not his first time onto the field, but still getting his feet wet in the NFL. Yeah, you know, Jim, and every week it just gets a little easier, better. When you walk out there, you can settle those nerves down faster each game you, each game you play. So it's going to be fun to see how he does here today. Here and go. Ingram's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. And they bring him down at the 38-yard line. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. And today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. The Saints come out, two tight ends on the field. And Ingram's got it on the handoff. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. <laughs> They're able to move the chains after that last run. That's a tackle right near the 48. Here are the starters today on defense. Second down now. And they sack the quarterback. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. It's third and 14 here after the sack. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Throwing out to his left. Incompletion there. Just not quite able to get the beat down. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Bring him to the turf. First down here. Trying to work that left side. That catch, good for a first down.
Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Walker's handed the football. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. It's now second down. Walker's going to take the handoff now. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread-and-butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? It'll be third down. Back to the ground. Middle. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. And he hauls it in. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. High formation and a handoff. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Leads us to second down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit and knocks that football loose. Now looking at third down. Tight end in motion. From the gun. Brings it into his body. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Watch the blitz. 
That reception gave them the first down. First and goal. Walker's going to into the end zone for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Bears lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Saints getting set to return to kickoff. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. Offense lines up here. First and ten. And Ingram's taking the handoff. Well, but it's an obvious passing situation. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Second down here. Just a quick drop back. He'll fire it out to the left. The ball's deflected incomplete. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. If you try to throw over them, here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Bears come out in the nickel. Out of the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. That'll stop the play right there. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle and you give up a long game. You've got your players in position, that's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. They've got a first down now after that catch. Back to the air here on first down. Makes the catch inbound. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Colston's lined up in the slot. Second down and seven. He fires it in there tight. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. First down following the long play. First down and 10. And Ingram's got it on the handoff. 
Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. play before the quarter ends. Games 16. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Saints on offense here to start the second quarter. The second quarter is underway with this snap. And that'll gain just a few yards. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Second and goal. And the throw, it's incomplete. <laughs> Defense filling up the box here with a 4 6 formation. Third and goal. Looking across the middle. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. The Saints line up for the extra point. The point after is good. The Bears are ready to return the kick. And that's a kick return of about 24 before being brought down. A receiver in the slot. He snapped back to the quarterback, out of the gun, inhales the pass. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Second down and two. Walker's handed the football. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. 
Good run that time. It results in a first down and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. Brown's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Walker's going to take the handoff now. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Let's go. Coming up, second down. He'll fire it out to the left. The pass fails to find the mark. Browns in the slot. Third and seven. Scans the field. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. He's got a chance to return this one. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. The jumbo is set on the field. Going off tackle here. He's brought down. run off tackle one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block and then if you have a lead fullback can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play from the gun looking for a receiver on the left side here nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short they get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Hey, man, 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 man. Hey, looks like this. They connect on that pass play, but it's still oh, third oh, down. Oh, Here's the quick toss to the running back. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. Walker's going to secure the handoff. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Lined up in the slot. 
The second attempt. The quarterback throws to the right. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the kids. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Browns, a receiver in the slot. Let's go. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking down the field. I'm not going to blame the offensive line. They did their job, but the problem was the secondary. They were all over the receivers. Nowhere to, for the quarterback to throw it. And that is truly a covered sack. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. He wants to return this one. Good piece of tackling. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. And Ingram's taking the handoff. Throws out the arm. Gains 11. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. First down here after the run. Staying with the running game on first down. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Staying on the ground for a gain of about five. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Third down and one. Flip to the outside. And here he goes. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. Let's see how they back up the big play here. So, first and goal to go. Incomplete. Second down following that incompletion. Second and goal from the five. And Ingram's got it on the handoff. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands. And they got the tackle for the loss.
Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the six. Saints across for the touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Saints now will tack on the extra point. He made it. The Bears are ready to return the kick. And he didn't get very far with that one. Only a run back of about 21 on the kick return. Split backfield here. First down and 10. Should have had it. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Second down. Out of the shotgun formation. Looks to his left. Reaches out and grabs it. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Walker's lined up as the single back. Third and short. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. That time I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision. And it costs his team yards lost. They're set to punt it away now. Wants to give it a go here. And he is tackled at the 44. The Bears defense now is going to go nickel. First and 10. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. Two-minute warning. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second from the shotgun. That catch will extend the drive. 
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Second down coming up. And out of the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They'll go shotgun here. Sticks to his hands. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. The Saints signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. back and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. Quarters formation here for the defense. Let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two. The formation here, shotgun. The Saints now move the chains, and the offense will call a timeout. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. First down here after the completion. They're going back up top. Saints in the end zone. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. The Saints lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Not able to kick it into the second gear as he's taken down after a return of about 20.
Wilson's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Working that left side. Reaches out and snatches it. The Bears call the timeout. They're first. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. Walker's lined up in a single back formation. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. Anderson's in the slot. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. They pounce on him there. The Bears use another timeout here, and they have one left. Offense getting set now, following the timeout. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Eyeing that left side. Great pass, great catch, great control. That's a nice throw that time by the quarterback to the outside. He knows he gets his cover three. Where the weakness is, is at the sidelines. He took advantage of it with a good throw. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Chicago in for the score. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Bears for the extra point kick. Inside of the uprights. Bears ready to kick the football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down. Offense ready for the snap. Tight ends in motion here. And Ingram's handed the football. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. 
Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. with the second quarter coming to a close. We'll step away for halftime and return to the Windy City for the start of the second half after this. Which is brought to you by Verizon. Check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I got a chance to speak with Coach McDonald at halftime. Tie ball game here, guys. And Coach told me the second half is going to come down to a few plays. As a coach, you never know which plays they might be, but it always comes down to a couple plays here or there. And he just hopes his team will be on the right side of those plays. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Bears ready to kick the football. And he's brought down after picking up 25. Nickel formation for the defense here. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. It's a dime look for the defense on this play from the gut. The throw to the left, and they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Good job by the quarterback that time, makes the decision, throws it short, it does not get the first down, but I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Third and short, following the completion. And Ingram's going to take the handoff now. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. A running back must always know the situations. Third and short, don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Looking to the right side and throwing. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and five. Throwing now to his left. They tackle him for a loss. Well, we see it more and more. 
football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The defense comes out of the nickel. Out of the gun. The defense gets the sack. Well, defensive tackles so many times are in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fella, good move at the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. All set to punt here. This punt will be returned. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Excellent blocking that time by the punt return team. They're engaged. The defenders cannot get away. That allowed the punt returner to have that time to make the right decision and get up the field. First down coming up. Walker's going to secure the handoff. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. Browns lined up in the slot. Get ready. On second and three, trying to work the middle of the field. Slips right through his fingertips. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. He's trying to run with it before the football gets there. You have to look it in. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. Trying to work that left side. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows his zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. That reception gave them the first down. He'll fire it out to the left, and he is brought down at the 39. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. Second down after that pass play. Walker's taking the handoff, and he'll try it left. That's a gain of six. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Offense lines up here. 
third down and two. Back to the running back. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. This one requires a measurement. By just a chain link, it's a first down. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. Good job by the offense, another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired, and when you get tired, you make mistakes. They've got a first down now after that catch. The quarterback throws the pass. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and ten. They'll go ground. Going to lose yards here. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40 percent of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. Third down, following the run. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. The, makes the grab, touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully, right on target. Touchdown. The Bears with the PAT to come. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. He'll take a knee in the end zone. They come to the line and it's first down. And Ingram's got it on the handoff. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line.
the defense comes out in the nickel. From the gun. And he's thrown to the ground. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there and sacks the quarterback. The Saints lined up. Everybody split out wide. Drop back, shotgun formation. He'll fire it out to the left. That ball is going the other way. Tackles made. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Anderson's a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Brings it in. Bringing the play to an end. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Back at the line after that catch for a first down. Walker's handed the football. That's a gain of eight. Loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. That brings the play to an end. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Third and goal from the one. And he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Bears with an extra point try on the way. It's good. Bears ready to kick the football. Going to be brought down right around the 33 yard line. Two tight ends on the field here. First down and 10. And Ingram's going to take the handoff now. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, 
There is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. And Ingram is going to secure the handoff. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. This is third down. Gets it again here. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. And as the third quarter comes to a close off Lake Michigan, we'll take a short break before beginning the fourth here in Chicago. The Saints offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They send the tight end in motion. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Secures it with two hands. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Here we have second down. Out of the shotgun formation. The quarterback throws to the right. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Makes the reception. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. First down here after the completion. Looking to go up top again on first down. Off the mark. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver.
Parker's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. Going across the middle. Games 16. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. That reception gave them the first down. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. He's brought to a halt. Second down coming up. Second and goal from the one. They deck him in the backfield. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Marching down the field and taking their time. Third and goal from the two. Challenging the defense. Touchdown and drawing close. Terrible job that time by the defense. Third and goal. They're expecting pass, and they still can't stop it. This defense is just not fast enough to stop those touchdown passes. The Saints line up for the extra point. Count it. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Makes the move and gets around the defender. They face first down. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. in the backfield single back set here's the handoff running off tackle a tackle behind the line how about the defensive line getting that penetration getting off the football at the snap and getting it done getting in the backfield and making that tackle Third down on the Let's way. Hey. Walker's taking the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. 
Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. First down here after the run. Back to the ground now on first down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Browns in the slot. Quick drop back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. They've got a first down now after that catch. Screen with two hands, he has it. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. They're back at the line Let's after go. that catch Brent for a first down. First and goal. Scanning the field. Offense lines up here. Get ready. Hey, Second and goal from the seven. Looks around. Who's underneath? That ball has been picked off. Stickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally, they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20 yard line. Airing it out, makes the play. Well, you saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game when they play against this quarterback. Beautiful, long throw down the field for the big completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. First and ten. They're setting up screen. He steps out. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down.
pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Stands in the pocket. He's got some daylight. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. with a nickel look here on defense from the shotgun. The Saints now move the chains. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Rams moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Looking across the middle. Gains 12. Well, that's a great feeling, isn't it, for an offense to throw a short pass to the running back and get a long gain. This guy is in there because he can run it, he can catch it, and he can make things happen. guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. And out of the shotgun, looking for an open receiver on the right. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. is running out the defense knows is playing with the lead but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock not much the offense can do in a situation like this third and long what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with the run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up the first down The Bears lined up in the nickel. Go, go, shotgun here. Looking long. Touchdown, New Orleans Saints. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Saints lined up now for the point after. The point after try is in the books. Saints ready here for the kickoff. And he's 
tackle right at about the 28-yard line. Tie game here in the late going, and the defense needs to make a stop. They cannot give up the big play right now. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. Anderson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and 12. Right where it had to be. Anderson's lined up in the slot. Now first and 10. Trying to work the middle of the field. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The formation here, shotgun. Waits for an opening to unfold. He didn't look it in. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it. And that's what happened that time. And now they'll try over again on second down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The Bears get a first down. The Saints are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. The Bears coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. First down and ten. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. Back out there for action after that defensive timeout. The Bears have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Second and six. Walker's got it on the handoff. The Saints call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. After that defensive timeout, we're ready for action. Walker's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. He gets it again on this drive. 
The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold him. The Bears signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Browns, a receiver in the slot. Tight end in motion. First and ten. Walker's handed the football. That picks up seven. The Bears will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. Offense ready for action coming out of their timeout. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Allen's going to take the handoff now. <laughs> the offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Play after play after play here on this drive. So first and goal to go. They beat him the ball again. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The ball carrier on the play. One yard loss on the play. The Bears with a field goal try to take the lead here in the fourth. converts on the three. This was a good game to watch today. Competitive all the way to the end. Check out the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. This play stood out above the rest. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, so glad to bring it to you.